Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of uh, Yahweh Shai. All praises and glories due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka Kodash. And um, this video, uh, pretty much, this is like a an expose video of this guy, um, the leader of the IUIC, Bishop Nathaniel. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that man got to be exposed for his hypocrisy. Okay, and this is why I'm doing this video. Um, years ago, we used to teach, and we still do, about the time of Jacob's trouble. And we used to bring out the scripture. The main scripture we bring out is the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, beginning around the 7th verse. And we um, pretty much uh, taught about um, the detention centers and the concentration camps and the draconian legislation and uh, you know all the the martial law military groups that are going to be sent out during the hour of uh, martial law when martial law is declared and Esau puts the, the serious lockdown in his attempt to bring in the so-called new world order because that's really what it's all about um Esau wants to bring in a new world order. It's on the back of the dollar bill with the, py the pyramid with the all-seeing eye over it, the illuminated eye, and the Latin words, novus ordo seclorium, which is Latin for new world order, you know, new order of the ages. And uh, the new world order is pretty much tyranny, extreme tyranny from the so-called government. And uh, one of the slogans, and this is uh, pursuant to... Um, a video that Linda Thompson had did entitled America Under Siege. And really, all you brothers uh, should check that video out. I think you can still find it on uh, YouTube, um, America Under Siege, by uh, Linda Thompson. She just passed away not too long ago. It's a pretty good video. We remember watching it back in the 90s uh, when we had access to all these uh these different uh, uh, teachers of uh, the New World Order. You know, Jordan Maxwell, he just passed away not too long ago. Jordan Maxwell, Anthony J. Hilda, uh, Terry Cook. You know, Terry Cook was um, uh, his speciality, or his specialty, speciality, specialty. His uh, specialty was... Um, the chip, you know, the, the MOTB, that was his specialty, right? So, um, based upon all that information, we would, we would, and above all the scripture, we would tell our congregation the time of trouble is coming, time of Jacob's trouble, because when, when they make this, uh, you know, we tell them about the guillotines, yep, the guillotines and uh, the, uh, in the, which we believe are in those camps, Recently, a uh, 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 article surfaced where um, the the headline was over thirty thousand guillotines were shipped to the to the United States. Now, if you don't know what a guillotine is, you should you really should look it up because this will be a form of uh, capital punishment for those that reject the MOTB when it's made mandatory, and it will be made mandatory. And that's pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16. So all of that are examples of a time of Jacob's trouble. It will not be a glorious time. It will be a, a time of very tense, uh, a, a very tense time, a time of tension, you know. And not to mention, you know, uh, you're going to have famines. You know, you're going to have race wars, race riots, you know, just all to borrow a phrase, a Pandora's box. <laughs> and Pandora, the word Pandora means all doors. All doors of evil are going to be open. 
you know, a Pandora's box of evils. So based upon that, we would teach the time of Jacob's trouble. And this guy, Nathaniel, <laughs> the slickster himself, he would teach against it. You know, at first they scoffed at it, they made fun of it. And then you, you brothers, you saw the video where he was, uh, uh, I guess, he was on, um, uh, I'm talking about Nathaniel. He was on a panel, a debating panel with, uh, this so-called Jamaican, older Jamaican gentleman. I forgot his name. I think he passed away. And I think the guy was a reporter, if I'm not mistaken. You've seen the video, you brothers out there. And if you find the video, please put it in the comment section. And uh, again, expose this man, this, this hypocrite, Nathaniel. He's a hypocrite, man. <laughs> and this is just one more example of his hypocrisy, okay? So he got into a debate with the older Jamaican gentleman and the, and the, the, the Jamaican gentleman said, uh, said, no, there got to be a time when, when all, you know, when a time of trouble as the earth has never seen. And he was quoting the scripture, you know, uh, the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, the, the first verse where it's, it's clearly says a time of trouble that the earth has never seen. So this man was adamant, the so-called Jamaican gentleman. I, I wish I knew his name or remembered his name. He was adamant. He was like, look, there's going to be a time of trouble the earth has never seen. And Nate kept shaking his head like, no, 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 no. There's not, there's not going to be no trouble. No, no, no. You know, like I said, if you find a video, any of you brothers have access to the video or a copy of the video, please put it in the comment section. All right. So now fast forward to Passover 2022 of the IUIC this is the clip I'm about to play. We have this guy after Nathaniel got the greatest introduction ever that the Israelite Eva, I think it even surpassed comfy. <laughs> and that's another thing too, with these lavish Passovers. Remember, remember comfy had a, a lavish Passover. Where's comfy now? Huh? Where is that nigga now? And he had a lavish Passover, you know, with the, with the complete with the announcer, with the, the Bruce Buffer or the Michael Buffer, you know, the guy that says, let's get ready to rumble, you know, complete with a, 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 a Bruce Buffer or Michael Buffer type announcer. Comfy had the same bullshit, man. Where is he now? So true to form, uh, you, I see they pick up the same, the same, uh, uh, the same, um, What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Might have lost for words here. Uh, the same style, for lack of a better word. They pick up the same style. If you watch their Passover, you have the Michael Buffer, Bruce Buffer type announcer. Let's get ready to rumble. These guys are out of their minds. Minds, man. These IUIC guys, they're out of their minds. And they're saturated with pride. They're, they, I mean, I just got done watching the video from Tazamar brother from uh, uh, GMS Dallas, and I might do a, as a matter of fact, you know what, you know what, let's get into it, man, I'm going to come back to my initial topic, but I just got done watching this video here, watching it. by the brother uh, Tazimar uh, from GMS uh, Dallas, this is a beautiful video, man, he, and even he was disgusted at what he was seeing from this group and their so-called Passover, which really was, they had a fashion show at the past. The Passover is not about a fashion show, man. The Passover, is, like we always teach you, the Passover is a solemn assembly. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of thinking about the sufferings that our Lord Yahweh Shai went through, especially in the Garden of Gethsemane, how he was arrested, you know. Uh, even he said his, his soul was exceeded his soul was exceeding sorrowful even unto death you know how he he, he was going through all, he was a he was a bottle of emotions Yahweh on that night and then the very next day he would be uh well during the morning the early morning he he was put on trial he was he was mocked he was made fun of by the 
by the wicked chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees. They put a crown of thorns on his head. They put a purple robe on him. They they humiliated him, you know. Then later that day, he would be um he would be forced to carry a cross, a heavy cross so heavy that he had to towards the end of the journey before they got to Golgotha where he was crucified, which Golgotha, the word Golgotha means place of the skulls, okay, and uh, and the reason why it was called that. Now I used to think because they had a mountain of skulls, because I didn't research it. And that's, that shows you the, the importance of research. Now, I used to think that it was a, this was a place where there were skulls all over the place and, you know, and, and uh, <laughs> you know, dead, you know, skulls. And uh, uh, um, cr uh, crosses were erected, uh, you know, in that place. And um, that's not it at all. The, the truth is, the reason why it was called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, is it was a it was a hill that was shaped like a skull. It looked like a skull, and the skull represents death. Okay, it, it represents death. I believe it was also called Calvary, which Calvary is Latin for skull. Okay, so this is why it was called Golgotha, the place of the skull. So that's that was appropriate for Yahweh Shai to be crucified there now before he got to that that place he had to carry this cross this heavy cross and so much so that a, a man uh, Simon of Cyrene had to help him carry the cross okay so that's what we meditate on on the Passover these are the things we meditate on we try to keep ourselves in a solemn uh, solemn mindset a serious mindset and when you go back to the first Passover, we had to get out of Egypt in haste. So the Passover is not a fashion show. But again, you know, you, you have these Israelite groups that insist on uh, doing the Passover their way. You know, making, they look at it as a money-making adventure or money-making venture. Yeah, so they don't have no respect for the Passover, they they don't, <laughs> you know, and the Passover is is supposed to be a, a, a like I said a solemn assembly, and it's supposed to be a, a it's not supposed to be a, a what's the word I'm looking for? It's not supposed to be a, a grandiose. That's the word that comes to mind. A, a grandiose event where you you're wearing your Sunday best, like they say, and <laughs> you know. Anyway, I've did videos on the Passover, so. Let's just move on. But I'm going to play some of uh, the brother Tazama's video, some of his video, and maybe fast forward a little because it's a pretty good video. And, uh, you know, he makes some good points <laughs> about these guys, man. These guys are, these guys are the IUIC. They're insane, man. Anyway, let's check it out. And uh, this is uh, the IUIC's uh, 2022 Passover. And, you know, we know that the IUIC is known for, uh, we know the IUIC is known for their grandocious, you know, Passovers, their, you know, uh, their elegant garments and things of that nature. And the Passovers is just this joyous, you know, jovial feast for them yeah even in the picture look look at this one of the members of that 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 group look at the you got the cape with the mink well, i guess that's supposed to be mink fur rat rat fur no nah, never <laughs> he got the he got the cape he got the cape with the with the fur collar around his neck man like i said these guys are insane man they're insane okay <laughs> elevating their self and you, you might say, well, Gabar, once again, Gabar's hating. I'm not hating. I'm, I'm, I'm not hating, man. I'm laughing because the shit's funny. It's This is comedy gold, okay? You got the costume jewelry and shit. <laughs> Let's just move on. You know, but, you know, as as we know that the Passover is a, is a solemn assembly. That's right. And... You know, it, it really just shows you how how high-minded 
these individuals think of themselves. You know, in particular, the, you know, the starting with the leadership of the IUIC, how high minded that they look at themselves. Now, when you watch this, it looks like it, it looks like it's a it's a damn NBA draft, man. Or the, it's the NFL draft or, you know, you know how you got those uh, beginning those beginning uh, videos of. NBA teams coming out from the tunnel and they got, you know, starting at power forward. You know, six time NV- NBA MVP. The 2022 scoring champion, you know. But when you look at this, that's what, you know, that's the vibes that, that's the vibes that we get watching this. Yeah, now to add to what he's saying, uh, the same thing with Comfy. They had the one pass over. Since the days of John the Baptist, there's never been a Passover. He said the same Bruce Buffer, Michael Buffer type announcer. You know, the guy that goes, let's get ready to rumble. The same nonsense, man. But the big question is, where's Comfy now? You know, where's their lavish Passovers now? You don't even hear about these guys. So what does that show you? The Lord is not with that. All that, all that hubbub, you know, all that uh, grandiose nonsense. That's not what this ministry is about. It's about keeping humble, man. It's about uh, being penitent, which the word penitent means to feel sorrow. You know, the main thing about this ministry is to remain humble in the sight of Yahweh Shimei Ashai. The time will come when we will be elevated. But now is not that time. Yahweh Shai got to be, if anything, Yahweh Shai got to be elevated first. He got to get his glory first. There's a scripture where it says, the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Now, when we're in the kingdom, that's when Yahweh Shai is going to place the crowns on our heads. And we're going to receive, as it is written in the book of Revelation, we uh, re reward the holy prophets, apostles, and servants, they will be rewarded. That's going to be in the kingdom. Now, Ezra saw that. He saw where Yahweh Shai was placing crowns on the heads of the men that served him faithfully. So there will be a time of honor, and that's going to be in the kingdom. We're not in the time of honoring now, you know, honoring ourselves. What does the scripture say? It says, after we have done the work, let's, let's bring that scripture out. It's an important scripture. We are not in the time of honoring ourselves, brothers. Okay. Uh, bear with me for a minute. Yeah, this is what Yahweh Shai said. This is the kind of mentality. You got these guys honoring themselves as if, as if they're the savior of the nation of Israel. This is the mentality we're supposed to have. Luke 17 and 10. And these are the words of Yahweh Shai said, So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, like we do it now, say we are unprofitable servants. We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. So what does that give you? That gives you a humble mindset as opposed to a mindset that these guys have. They, they're honoring themselves. Look at this, a tribute to Bishop Nathaniel. And the guy is a liar. He's a hypocrite. I'm show you in this video an example of his hypocrisy. You know? <laughs> and notice it's all in black, too. So that's appropriate. Because that guy right now, he's, he's got a black heart, man. You know? <laughs> like, it reminds me of this, the song by a Bunny Whaler, the black heart man. <laughs> he's the black heart man, children. <laughs> Don't go near him. <laughs> Yeah, man. Anyway, let's listen some more. In this video, no kind of humility, and it's they don't give no glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to break the IUIC completely up. And Bishop Nathaniel, you know, he 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 didn't show his face for some time because he was sick. Yep. You know, and you know, and he got healed from his from his ailment. You know, he's saying the name of the Lord, but even with him saying the name of the Lord, he's saying it in vain. He's saying it in a proud sense. Yeah, he's saying it, saying it in jest. You know, he even made a statement. He said, 
Yeah, I say the name of the Lord gives gives uh, my frenemies, and he's re he's referring to us. I'm beginning to feel the apostle down now. It, it gives my frenemies uh, goosebumps. <laughs> so in other words, he's he's uh, he's mockingly saying the name of the Lord and his only begotten Son. Now, what does the scripture say? Uh, uh, the Lord is, uh, what is that, Galatians? Let's go to the book of Galatians. Uh, the book of Galatians, uh, the sixth chapter, I think it's the seventh verse. It says this, be not deceived. The heavenly father is not mocked. And he'd been doing that, man. That guy, Nathaniel, he'd been doing that for a long time, mocking the heavenly father. You know, you saw the video where he made fun of the name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Then he made a statement. He said, should we join the bump camp? The bump, the bum camp? He's talking about us. The bum camp, because he calls us bums. All right, that's all right. We'll be bums, you know. Hey, uh, John the Baptist was looked at as like a bum. You know, he was, he was like, in a way, he was like homeless, John the Baptist. Huh? He was out there in the desert teaching, preaching in the wilderness. And then, and then you had Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, foxes have holes and the birds have nests, but the son of man have no place to rest his head. So he would be considered like a bum. So they call us the bum camp. So we'll take that proudly. We thank you. Thank you for calling us the bum camp. Anyway, then he made the statement. He started laughing, scoffing. <laughs> Should we join the bum camp? No, no, no. We, we ain't going to join the bum camp. You've seen the video where he's making fun of the names of the father and the son. So there you go. So Galatians 6 and 7, Be not deceived, the heavenly father is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. See? So the time, you, you, you know, your time of honoring yourself is coming to an end, man. You know? How wish I said it best? Let me get that scripture. He that exalteth. Let's get that. Exalteth. That's one thing you don't want to do, man. I've seen it so many times. Guys come into this truth, they start exalting themselves, and they get shot down, man. You don't want to do that. And this guy, Nathaniel, he's saturated. Even the brother Tazamar said that in his video. And he's relatively a young brother in the faith. We've been telling you brothers, brothers that for years, man, how this guy elevates himself. Uh, Nathaniel. I know a lot of some of you guys, oh, there goes Gabar hating again. Man, I ain't hating. I'm, I'm teaching the truth, man. I'm telling you the truth. It is right here. The scriptures don't lie. You exalt yourself, prepare for the big fall, man. You know, Luke, the, the 14th chapter. We don't, we, I just read to you the scripture. It said, after we've done what we're supposed to do, say we're unprofitable servants. So that right there removes all room for elevation, elevating yourself. No, we'll wait till you have a place the crowns on our heads. Then we'll be elevated. And that's going to happen in the kingdom. Now is not the time for that. You know, Luke 14 and 11. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased. Do you know what the word abased means? It means to be brought low. Okay. So you can exalt yourself all you want to, but prepare for the fall. That's all I have to say to you. All I have to say to Nathaniel is, and, and those guys that, ex, that are exalting themselves with him in that group, prepare for the fall, because the fall is coming. All right? <laughs> it's inevitable. <laughs> Reminds me of that, again, me and with these songs, right? The song by uh, that group, uh, Depeche Mode, which, by the way, the, one of the leaders, uh, Martin Gore, I think his name is, his father is a so-called black man. So, so check that out. And he looks like a straight-up so-called white man. But his father, uh, Martin Gore, from the group, the uh, Depeche Mode from England, his father is a so-called black man. Well, they put out a song called Get the Balance Right. This was one of their earlier songs. And if you read the lyrics, the lyrics is, the lyrics is, is spot on, you know. Uh, like, the, like he says in the song, when you reach the top, get ready to drop. You're going to fall. It's almost predictable. <laughs> yeah, that's from the song, man. Those words are so true. When you reach the top, get ready to drop. Like you see with Will Smith, recently, uh, uh, what's his name? Denzel Washington told uh, Will Smith, 
when you reach the top, that's when the devil comes for you. <laughs> you know? So, uh, these are the words of Yahweh Shai. This is why you do not want to exalt yourself. Many guys come into this truth and they think it's, they think it's about exalting themselves. You don't want to do that, man. That's the last thing you want to do. And you don't want no ad ador adoration, 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 or adulation, adulation, adoration. You, you, don't, you don't want that either, man. You know, <laughs> you know people adoring you as if you're the savior. You don't want that, man. You run away from that. Hell, uh, Luke 14 and 11, for whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, brought low. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So that's what you, we always want to, I keep saying you, but we always want to humble ourselves. Every moment we get, just humble ourselves. Humility, humility, humility. Because that's what Yahweh Shem Yahushai likes. Because the time of ourselves being honored is going to come. It's going to come in the kingdom. That's when it'll be the time for it. But not now, brothers. Let's get back to the video. They looked at my demise, and, you know, I'm just going to say it, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, all that, all that game playing, man. But without further ado, I'm about to play a little bit of this video, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, this guy's walking like he's, like he's, he just came back from conquering, from conquering a nation. <laughs> Look at the garment, man, my goodness. These guys, out, they're out of their minds. Look at this guy. From New Jersey, Deacon Malachi! <laughs> that, that's what I was telling you about, the Bruce Buffer, Michael Buffer type introduction. Let's get ready to rumble! These guys are out of their minds, man. Is this what this ministry is about? Okay. Look at that, man. From New Jersey, Deacon <laughs> Malachi. People cheering and screaming. Again, man, they're going to say, oh, you guys at GMS are hating. No, we're not hating. We just got something called common sense. And we understand the scriptures. I just read to you, he that exalted himself shall be humbled. All right, we're not hating, man. We're laughing. We're having a, because this is comedy gold. All right, that's what we're doing. So get it right. We're not hating. We're laughing. Walking out, you know, walking out the doors, you know, got the grand docious garments, man. You know? And that's, and that proves that's the what, what, what was written here in the. That's the player's ball. That's what that was. That was the player's ball. Book of Mark, the 12th chapter. This is Mark chapter 12, verse 38. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking because the words are in red. It says, and he said unto them in his doctrine, beware of the scribes, which love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the marketplaces. See, th is this not them wearing? Matter of fact, let's read this in the, uh, let's read this in a blue letter, actually, because I want to get that word long. Um, Mark chapter 12, verse 38. Let's read this in the, uh, in the blue letter. And people, they they gonna be making videos. Our GMS is always hating. No, go. all we doing is go. just show show uh, showing forth the facts. That's all we doing is showing forth the facts. And Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai warned us of individuals like this, man. Exactly. Here it is. They're not showing no. They're not showing no honor and praise towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They acting as if they in the kingdom already, man. Here it is. We still in hell and still in captivity. You know, Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. You know, Elder Apostle Ramlaw did a live show on that today. Jay think that the so-called white man just playing around. We still in hell. Still got to go to work. Still in captivity. But, we, they, you know, they're acting as if they in the kingdom already, man. Yeah, that don't make no sense, man. It doesn't make no sense. Like I said, we have a little, little thing called common sense. Okay, they don't have any common sense. All hell is about to break loose in you. You're acting as if you're in the kingdom already, honoring yourself and shit. You know, if you're super lavish Passover, you guys are, you got, these guys are gone, man. What was that scripture? Um, they revolted. <laughs> what was that, Jeremiah? 
uh, the book of Jeremiah 6, is it? No, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get it for you. Revolted. Uh, hey, it is right here. This is the book of, uh, let me see what, what the, the book of Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. Jeremiah, fifth, the fifth chapter in the 23rd verse. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart, meaning mind. They are revolted and gone. <laughs> that group is gone, man. Okay. Acting as if they already made it. Boasting up your name as if you're just this, this high-minded, this high and mighty individual. Long clothing. That word long clothing in the Greek is pronounced stole. Alright? It's pronounced stole. It says, it says an equipment and clothes. Clothing. Specifically, a loose outer garment for men which extended to the feet. Priest and persons of rank. And you notice that the deacons and the captains had different clothing in this video. He had particular, he had particular brothers walking out with, with, with security next to him, you know, it, or it looked like it was security. You know, you, if it wasn't a, you know, I'll stand corrected if it wasn't. But when, uh, when, when, when Deacon Ithan walked out, he had another man walking out with him on his, on his right. It looked like he had a fucking security guard with him, man. Not fucking, but you know, he had, a, he had, a, had to have security or something like that. Yeah, man, those guys are elevating themselves, but. You know, you go in the book of Revelation, it said that we would wear sackcloth, you know, and the garments, and I always said this in my previous videos, the garments that we that we wear reflect the state, the state that we're in. We're in a low state right now. We're in a humble, penitent state, you know. Uh, the book of Revelation 14 and... Um, Bear with me for a minute. Or oh, is it 11? I'm sorry. Revelation 11. Yep. Revelation 11 and 3. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, which represents the nation of Israel. It goes deeper, but it really represents the nation of Israel. And they shall prophesy. So these, these are the prophets. A thousand two hundred and three score days, and we're in that time period now, clothed in sackcloth. Now, when you look up that word sackcloth, as I've done many times before, the, the Greek word there is sakos. All right, let's look at it. There it is right there, sakos. Strong's G, 4526, sakos, sakos. All right, sakos. It says, a garment of the like material clinging to the person like a sack, which was wont to be worn or drawn over the tunic instead of the cloak or mantle by mourners, penitents. This is the time period we're in right now, brothers. We're in the time of mourning because all hell is, got, is about to break loose. So we come before Yahweh Shem Yashai, not in an elevated, proud mind state, we come before Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in a penitent, humble mind state. Okay? Mourners, penitence, which means to feel sorrow. Suppliance, suppliant means to beg. That's where you get the word pray from. Pray means to beg. Uh, mourners, penitence, suppliance, and also by those who, like the Hebrew prophets, lead an austere life. So that's us, man. An austere life is a bitter life. So we're not in the time of honoring ourselves and elevating ourselves. And these guys are totally, uh, they're not in the right spirit. Okay, this group here. And that's why, one of the reasons why they are going to be brought down. They are going to be brought low. Okay. Now, before I go, let me play this clip for you. You're going to hear Nathaniel. And this is why he got to be exposed even more so because he's a hypocrite. For years he'd been teaching against the time of Jacob's trouble, but now all of a sudden now he's teaching it. And he, he's acting as if he'd been teaching it forever. 
You know, there's no uh, no uh, acknowledgement of who was saying that. I mean, in GMS, we were teaching that while he was scoffing at it. All right. So that's why we tell you, you got to watch out for this guy. This guy is slick and he's a hypocrite, man. But check it out. Four, 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, save the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from, from the same. So he says, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. We're in those days of trouble. We're entering Jacob's trouble, like it says in, uh, was it Jeremiah 30? Now, for the longest, he denounced when we, you know, Jacob's trouble. He denounced that when we were teaching about it. He made fun of it. He scoffed at it, you know. But all of a sudden now, he's, you know, another thing too, he's been calling upon the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, a name that he made fun of. Now, it's a good thing he's teaching the truth, but but be real with it, man. Don't be a snake, you know. Why don't you first say, you know, I was against it, but now, you know, I've seen the light. I've come to none of that, man. It shows you this guy has virtually no character. It's a real piece of work, man. So we're beginning in that era now. That pandemic is a part of it. And it's not over. The party ain't over. It's just going to escalate five years apart, four years apart, three years apart, two years apart, one year apart, 11 months apart, five months apart. From there, real quick, watch this. Acts 11. This guy's a piece of work, man. Anyway, hopefully you brothers were edified. On to the next one.